Right folks, welcome back to another Carry On Budget Cooking. This is where we are doing a series of cooking things to try and help you people, and there's got to be a lot of you, who will be struggling because of our stupid shit government. Um, the price of everything is going up, and we're trying to do meals where you can afford to cook them from fresh. None of this processed shit. We're going to try and, well, we are not trying, we are. We are cooking from fresh, aren't we, June? We are, yeah. Uh, so what this one is, it's called Carry On Cooking Budget, Stick It In A Pie. <laughs> I love sticking it in a pie. I love sticking it in a pie at all. Can't beat, I've got all rude, I've got all carry on. So, so basically what we're doing is a breakfast pie. What we've got, we've got some bacon left over from the other day that runs out of date today. We've got a couple of eggs that I've scrambled. Um, I've reserved a bit of the egg to brush on the pastry, but that's what's, you only need a tiny bit for that. A tin of baked beans. Cheap baked beans. Cheap baked beans, yeah. And salt and pepper. And some ready-made pastry. It doesn't have to be puff pastry. I prefer short crust pastry. I just hold pastry. that in the light so I can see it. There it is, puff pastry. Yeah, I prefer short crust, but that's what we've got in the freezer. If you're good, if you're clever, you'll be able to make your own pastry, but I've never mastered that. Although your hands some, are too warm. It must be. Um, but although somebody's left a, a good recipe for pastry, and I want to try that, and I will try that, but not today. So we're going to attempt to make a pie. What we need to do for a start is mix all those ingredients in the bowl. I'll just take the lid off that. Forgot that, didn't I? Yes, you did, didn't you? Yeah, so what I did is I just fried the bacon off. I scrambled two eggs in the usual way. So, loads of juice in there. Uh, but make sure your ingredients are all cold because when you put it in the pie. So yeah. this is just a... This when you put, hold on, when you put it in the pie, it will melt the pastry and you, it will just all fall to bits. So stick your beans in there. So this recipe then, Junie baby, is basically a leftovers pie. Yeah, just stuff that's... Got, we've come to the end of the week, we've not used the bacon, we've got a few eggs left. And rather than waste it, we're going to make it into a meal. So now, no doubt there's some people that oh, well, I'd have made an egg, egg and bacon sandwich. Well, that's just a meal for one, isn't it? An egg and bacon sandwich. Yeah, I mean, but you, it doesn't matter how you use it. To me, it doesn't matter how cheap you buy stuff. If you're throwing half of it in the bin, you've not saved anything. No, you've not. So, that's that's yeah. defeated the object of so, these. But like uh, I say, you can add anything in there. If we'd got some mushrooms, I'd shove that in. If we'd got fresh tomatoes, I'd shove them in. If we'd got tinned tomatoes, if you use tinned tomatoes rather than the beans, what I would do is strain the liquid off and just have the the tomatoes themselves. Yeah. Give, give them a bit of a squish. Because so, there's a lot of water in a tomato anyway. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, like I say, with a tin of tomatoes, you do get a lot of juice. But I would just give them a bit of a drain some of the liquid off and give them a bit of a squish, yeah, either mean, with your hands or the potato you, we, If like. we've got some sausages left over that you've cooked, slice them up, chuck them in as well. You know, there's, there's anything that you've basically got left over from cooking, you can put it in a pie. Yeah, and if you, if you just need a bit of moistness in there, most things, you don't need to do fancy sauces and stuff. Um, if you stick a tin of beans or a tin of tomatoes in there, there's the moistness yeah. in it. So you want to season that with salt and pepper. And that's basically your pie filling. And Ginge loves this one, don't she? Yeah, and she you does. could either have that as a main meal, you could do a few chips with it if you wanted to. Um, or you can just have it as a, as a breakfast slice, I guess. I mean, yeah. if you're a working man, uh, or woman. Well, yes, sort of working on a building site or whatever. Do this pie. I mean, I'm just going to make one long pie, uh, but you could make little individual ones. But anyway, yeah. so I'll come back to you in a moment. So we're switching this off. For a moment, yeah. So, Juna's done what she's done. Yeah, I've just got the puff pastry there. Like I say, short crust pastry, anything will do. Make your own, do whatever. And then you put your pie filling down the middle and when you do it you think well there's not a lot there but when you actually do so that's that spread that out 
a little bit. Like I say, you can put anything in there, like you rightly say, sausage or anything breakfasty. And then Corn flakes. The, no, you couldn't put corn flakes. Then with the egg that you reserved Wheat be bix. before you scrambled the egg, you just go round the edge. You're fucking ignoring me now, aren't you? Yeah. And then hold on, that be better. Flip it that way. That's it. Get it over there. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, you bugger. There we are. And then you don't have to do any fancy crimping. I'll just yeah. use the end of the spoon or a knife or whatever. Hold on, let's just dip that in a bit of flour because it's sticking a bit. <sighs> seal the edges. Make sure they're good and well sealed or you don't want it all leaking out, out of your lovely pie. All the way around, you've got a little hole there, it's tore a little bit. Got stuck to your thingy, didn't it, June? Yeah. Oh, I, did. I took it out of the freezer to thaw, that's the thing. I don't keep it in the fridge now, I've got to get it in there. You well need to there. put it in a tin. Oh. Right, we're gonna have to get a bigger tin. We'll no, be we back. We've got a bigger tin. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Right, we'll be back. Oh, we're gonna have to get a bigger tin. We'll be back. Dude and a bloody pie. Right. Well, this is this is how it goes, folks. What you do, you make do and you mend and you you adjust and. Hold you... on, hold on. What I'll do is I'll cut a bit off the end. Well, why don't we get the pie thing out of the bottom of the oven? We've got that big tray at the bottom of the oven, ain't we? Here you are. That's better. Baking sheet. Yeah, baking sheet. I thought that when I said get the bigger tin. Still needs because it's still not quite big, but there's better. Yeah, put it at the angle. Put it at the, the angle, that's it. Why don't you move that over there a little bit? That's it, we're there. Right. We're there. Fuck's sake. And then give it a bit of an egg wash. Can you tell what it is yet? I'm just. It's a fucking pie, Rolf. And I'm just sticking that down because I've poked a hole in it somehow or another. Hold on, let's just nick a bit of pastry off there and stick it over the hole. Like that leak. There you go. Right. So no, it always goes wrong when we're on camera. It don't matter, does it? It don't matter. We're not proud. Things go wrong in life, don't they? Right. So, give that a nice egg wash. And then you need to make a little hole. Switch the steam out of. Homage to uh, Wanda. Wanda, Scott and Wanda's world. A couple of little slits in there. And then Fucking hell, I'm glad you didn't do my vasectomy. Jesus. And then it does actually say found like 180. Right, well, we can't do that, can we? No, we can. Can we? Come on. No, we'll cook it later. No, we'll so cook we'll it later. We've, we've got something else in We're there. already okay. cooking something else, uh, which you'll probably see another day. Um, well, you will see it another day. We're not going to throw it away in the video. Uh, so, yeah, we'll come back. We'll show you putting that into the oven. And, uh, I've had a thought. We'll take the thing out that's already in there. Right. So, and we'll put the pot down. The pie's only going to take half an hour. Okay, right. Well, we'll sort this out and we'll see you in a second. Right, so what we've done, we've taken out what we were cooking that you'll see another t on another video, and we've whacked that in there for half an hour. On uh, 180. On 180. In a fan oven. If you've not got a fan oven, it's 220. Yeah, okay, right. But the cooking instructions for the pastry will be on the box, and as the meal, as all the bacon and the egg and everything that you've put in the pie is already oh. cooked, you're not going to worry. All it's, right. Yeah, you're just warming the filling up and baking the pastry. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, folks, we're back. The pie's done. I've just been outside trimming June's bush. Um, it's not my bush, it's the family bush. Uh, so I'm out there. That's another video I'm doing. Uh, this is three videos we've done today, isn't it, Junie baby? Is. And here is the pie. I'll put, put my finger there, look. No, don't drop it. The pie. Stick it in a pie. So let's cut your piece. So right, June is out the middle. June is going to um, 
cut a piece of the pot. Oh, sorry folks, you've all fell over, you're all pissed. So, there it is, the pie. So, right, I want to put- You don't have to have as much as that. Obviously Dave's a greedy pig. You silly moo. <laughs> and there it is. Now then, Junie baby, let's have the scores on the doors, please. Oh, I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I've swore again. I'm trying to keep these bloody friendly family fortunes. Oh no, you carry on talking, try your pie. Have you put it back where it goes? We've lost the uh... Right, so, before I say let's tuck in, I want you all to guess, uh, you haven't got to guess, I'm not bossing you about, I am not that kind of person, I'll voice my opinion and that's it. But if you would be so pretty please, uh, give us the answers now to how much you think this pie cost now, wait you. Um, I'm waiting, I'm just going to try and work it out how much it is a portion. Um, how many portions do you think you'd get out of that? Five, six? We'll work it out on five. Yeah. We'll work it out on five, but I reckon, yeah, six. And this is still warm, it's better when it's cold. Yeah, it's so, better when it's cold. But well, it's, it's, oh, I don't mind, it's, I'll eat any old shite. Uh, so, if we're working out on... Right, so there it is. Look, that's the filling inside, folks. Um, like we said, you could put mushrooms, sausages, sardines in there. Ooh. Do you want sardines? I don't fucking know. It's again. So, now then. Go through look. the list of ingredients and the prices. Yes, go for it, Junie, baby. Right. You tell me what you want. I'm going to tuck in. Yeah, uh, the beans were 22p. The bacon, mm. which was left over, worked out at 37p. Uh, two eggs were 35p. And the pastry cost £1.25. Like I say, you could make your own and probably make it cheaper. So the total was £2.19 for the whole pie. For the whole pie. £2.19. If, if you wanted it to serve six people, then it would be 36p a pie. If you wanted it to serve five then it's 43 but it's just a way of using up what's in the fridge because it like i say if you don't use what you've bought you might have bought it cheaply but if you end up throwing in half of it away then it's not cheap any longer mm. it's no longer cheap so any good really good so what we'll do um, you've had a piece now, but tomorrow we'll probably have the rest yeah. with a few chips. Yeah, me, June and Ginger will probably have that. I'll have a larger portion, but not everybody's got an appetite like me. And that's that's the way this goes. Um, I, do you know what I was thinking? What? Sprinkle a bit of mature che uh, yeah, I was cheese gonna, in I there. Yeah, I was trying to keep the cost down. I mean, you've yeah. also... Um, if you've got a few leftover potatoes, you can fry those up with your bacon and put that in. Yeah. But like I say, the important thing is to make sure all your filling yeah. is cold. Because in theory, what you've already done, we have already made a meal out of the bacon and the eggs, haven't we? Yeah. We've already made a meal out of the... What else? No, I'm going to say mushrooms or stuff, but... We've already... You've probably already made a meal. So in theory... This is a free. This is a free one. This is even less money. This is probably just the, the price of the pastry and the tin of baked beans. That's all it is, because that's what it's got. So, I mean, if you price it up on 125 for the pastry and mm. 20 odd P, you, you're only you're looking at £1.80 mm. because you've already got the ingredients. And I, I, right, I look at it this way as in to say um, the, they're on about trying to make the utility companies. The, the, the media are telling us to do things cheaper and all that, which is fair enough, but this is probably how we should have been living anyway. We did it when we were in debt. For people who don't know, right, for people who have just found this recipe, this cooking video, me and June were in debt. I got us into debt to £35,000. 
we were struggling. Some people are now going, oh, he's on about his fucking debt again. Yeah, I am. Because this is what this is about. This is trying to help people not get into debt. Because people are going to end up taking loans to pay the utility bills that, that they have got no option, that they've got no, they can't afford to pay them in the first place. They can't afford the utility bill. So why get a loan to pay a utility bill and build up interest on that? This is like trying to help you get there now. Oh, to be honest, I've, I've said it many times that we ate better, mm. probably more healthily, not that that's particularly healthy, but what I'm saying is we hel ate healthier as a whole and we didn't waste anything. No. Um, I mean, now I'd have, I'd have been guilty of probably thinking, oh, that bacon's at its sell by there, I'll chuck that in the bin. Mm. But you can't do that. You've got to make it work for you. If you get to the end of the week and it, it's Friday, and you're not going shopping till Saturday and you've got something in the fridge that can be made into a meal, then use it. Yeah. You know, even if it's chip butties or something like that, it's not, it's not, no, it's not particularly healthy, but if you can eat healthily for the rest of the week. Yeah. One day, two days, eating shit food is not the end of the world. The end, what it is, is getting food in your belly to go to feed your kids, to go to work, to do whatever. So treat this one as a, a, as a, a treat. Yeah. I know it sounds stupid, yeah, I know people will comment and all that. And I agree, but these are gonna to be tough times and it's gonna to get tougher. There's no point in messing around. These bastards now who are in charge of the country, they don't care, they don't care about you. None of them's ever cared about you. They say they do, Liz Truss is there giving it. Now, Rishi Sunak's there giving it all this, oh, I take my family for a McDonald's wrap. Rushy, you prick. If you watch me, you'd know they didn't do wraps and they finished doing the wraps in 2020. Yeah? You're talking shit. Keir Starmer, talking shit. Mr. Ed, talking shit. They don't care. The only people who care about you is yourself. Yeah, and another one that you could do, which is pretty healthy, um, when you get to the end of the week and you look in the um, veg box in the bottom of your fridge, you think, hmm. I've got a couple of carrots that have about had it. I've got a potato that's about had it. I've got other bits of veg that have about had it. Just make it into a soup. It's dead easy. Yeah. It's dead easy. I think the thing is that's going to happen is people buy yourself a, a slow cooker. Buy yourself one of those little whizzers. Yeah, a blender. A blender. Stick, stick blender. A stick blender. Because that will save you. Um, well, it saves time. Yeah. And you, with a slow cooker, you see, you can buy cheaper cooks of, cuts of meat yeah. and, and, and cook them in there. Mm. I mean, I much prefer the cheaper cuts of meat. Yeah. But you've got to cook them long and slow, generally. Yeah. So if you can put it in a slow cooker either overnight or just before you go to work in the morning. You know, it, and people will say, we haven't got time. You've got to fucking make time. You've got to make time to do this. Yeah. You, making time will save you money. So, anyway, I don't mean this to turn into a lecture. Um, put your comments down below. This is just to help people out, right? Don't go giving us grief on doing this and doing that, yeah? It's, we're just trying to help out, yeah? That's all it is. And if you want to leave your comments, leave your, your tips and how you would do things, brilliant, because people are learning, that people will read the comments and they will learn from it and, to, and do what they want to do. Just give them the idea, the inspiration. It is nice, isn't it? I'm really enjoying it. Uh, right, we'll leave that one there, folks, and we'll see you again um, with another carry on cooking budget style. Carry on cooking budget. Carry on budget cooking. cooking. Carry on. Yeah, <laughs> what it is. That. Read the title.